Jake runs towards the exit of the building, karate chopping five more salamanders along the way. He runs to a large ship, the same one he had crashed in. Within minutes, he has it fixed using the components from the remains of the headset and a laser he had taken from one of the salamanders. He takes off just as two more salamanders dive at the ship. One is burnt up in the engines, but the other manages to get inside. Jake begins to wrestle with it, and just as he is dangling it over the edge of the compartment, he feels as if his brain is getting smaller. The effects of the machine were only temporary, and were wearing off. He throws the salamander off the ship, but it manages to blast a hole in the hull of the ship as it falls, causing it to spin out of control. The ship crashes back down to Saturn, now on the other side. Jake walls out of the ship and says, Where am I? A voice answers from a cave a little ways away. You are on the planet Saturn, and you have disturbed my sleep. To be continued, will Jake get smart again? Right. And I'm Isaac Newton. No, seriously, I'm Isaac Newton. Huh, you don't believe me? Hater. Will he get attacked by the thing in the cave? Isn't it obvious? Find out in the next episode.